What's up, everybody? Ariel here, and today we have episode three of um, Ask Arrow. Um, as you can probably tell, I made, I don't know, maybe I still sound a little bad because um, that cold I was talking about on Monday, last Monday, uh, is kind of still lingering. And, um, and I went out last night. So, we got a shit ton of questions this week, by the way. Um, a lot of these came in within like a day of the video being posted, so. Uh, much love, everybody. Thank you very much. Um, I'm surprised because I put Battlefield in the background. Everyone, and, you know, every time I try to post FPS to my channel, I'm like, you fucking suck. So, um, first question. Um, okay, never mind. Skipping that. Uh, when you used use the wheel, sorry, that's my bad, or if you use the wheel, what would be the force feedback setting that you are comfortable with? <coughs> Excuse me. Um... I don't know, because I got my force feedback settings in Forza 3 off of somebody who posted on the forums, and I I don't know. I don't think I've changed them. I think it's at like 75% or like 70%, something like that. Um, you know, if that's, I think I turned it down a little bit more than that, but yeah, no, it's around 70%. You have to pick in the, pl Ugh, I'm retarded. If you had to live in a place in the world, house, family, job, I'm assuming just like to live there and like everything has to be there, where would it be? Thanks for answering. Um, I'm a dreamer. I like to, you know, sit around and fantasize about what could be. So um, I already have this whole situation planned out. Japan, obviously. Fucking homeland drifting, fucking Abizu's there, a whole bunch of toge tracks are there, the whole culture's there. Um, you know, I've, I've always wanted to like be really uh, proficient in English. So I can go there, teach English, and have an excuse to fucking buy a 180SX and put a fucking RB engine in it. And blah, blah, and, uh, nah. But um, if that's out, if we have to be realistic, probably Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania, yeah. Because I have a whole lot of friends that live there that I've met through Forza. Uh, if you're watching this, you know who you are. Um, the drifting scene down there is phenomenal. Um, though, no offense to you Americans, I really wouldn't want to live in your country. So, I don't know. I'll have to go, I'd go with Japan, but I'm just not a huge, uh, American politician fan, a politician fan. Um, but I don't think anybody is, to be honest. Uh, next question. On the first episode, I asked if you would play more storyline-based game, but because of Saints Row 3, you didn't even want to, which is understandable. Thank you for understanding my plight. Though, if Saints Row 3 doesn't get any more attention, because it's only getting about, like, 200 views a video, um, and I only have up to part 15 recorded, I'm just going to stop uh, that series altogether, because, like, I'm not going to keep playing this game and no one, nobody watch it, or at least not half of what my usual views are watch it, which is about 1,000. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't played Driver 10 Francisco, it has a storyline. It's completely based on driving, so we fund me, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and along with the raising community to watch. Basically, he suggests for me to uh, play Drive for San Francisco. Um, I don't know if I could do that because I did play the demo and I wasn't too pleased with it. Uh, I've been playing Driver since the first Driver, and so I'm like a diehard fan, and it wasn't really up to up to snuff for me. It's kind of like with Driver Three; they really went uh, and tried to be almost gr almost like a Grand Theft Auto, and then with San Francisco or after Parallel Lines, even they kind of went all the way in the other direction went like PG-13 so I don't know it wasn't my favorite in the series um, but if I do do a storyline based game I want to not be based on driving mostly for the f I know everyone's like oh man you're fucking the, the driving and drifting channel what the fuck's wrong with you you're an idiot but I just want it to be a channel I don't want people to go oh it's that drifting guy oh it's that this guy I want to be like oh it's Arrow right you know the name I'm retarded just ignore me uh, thanks for your question though I hope to answer it to the best of my ability um, th hey, thanks for answering my question in the last video. Thanks for sending in your question, pal. <laughs> said his name. Um, if you had to choose between Forza 4 and Grand Theft 5 based on drifting customization, which would you choose? You are fucking cock because that's going to take me about an hour to understand or to reply to. So I'll skip that for now. Um, also, if you have ever played Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift for the PS2, so if so, did you like it? Uh, I'll go for the Fast and Furious question first. Uh, I thought it was okay. You know, uh, usually Fast and Furious. I think there was like two or three Fast and Furious games, and they're all kind of mediocre. That was sort of the best one, but I don't know. I didn't like it too much because it had nothing to do with the video form, with uh, or with the movie, in my opinion. Actually, 
it was better than what they would have done if they would have been with the movie. Anyway, it was half decent. Um, but if I had to choose between Forza for D25 based on drifting and customization. <sighs> well, customization's easy because in Gran Turismo 5 there is none. So I'm gonna that's all gonna go to Forza. For the drifting, to be honest, the two games and I've been getting into fights with people in com in comments, oh fucking Forza's just like goddamn need for speed, G D You guys are all fucking retarded, honestly. And you never and they're like, Oh I've never played Forza but it looks you fuck you. Honestly. <laughs> um if you play Forza and Grand Turismo 5 on a controller, I don't use the wheel on PlayStation 3, so because I don't have a PlayStation 3 compatible wheel, so I'm gonna completely ignore that uh, for what this opinion. Um, if you use the controller on Forza 4 and you switch the sim uh, the steering to simulation, it plays almost exactly like Grand Turismo 5, almost identical. And I know that because I play them both. I play the shit out of Gran Turismo 5. I've almost I'm almost beat the game. Or the main uh, career. I didn't do any of the like, license challenges or whatever yet. But like I'm almost completely beat the game. And if you put your steering on simulation, it handles... Or on, if you put for, uh, your steering on Forza to simulation, it handles almost exactly like Gran Turismo 5 does. I don't do that mostly because it's too twitchy on controller. Gran Turismo 5 is a game that was built for the wheel. It's almost like trying to play R Factor or I Racing on a keyboard. You know, it's doable, but it's not like you, it's it's a shell of what it should be, and you're going to be a lot worse. That's why I use normal steering in Forza 4 because it's like almost like a handicap for controller drifters. That way, I have time to transition. Everything's a little bit slower, and that's your downfall. But everything's more consistent. Uh, for instance, in Forza 4, when I was trying to learn with him, if there was a bump and I hit this bump in the wall you know what I mean like and it's just I've been playing this game for three years I've already learned how to drift on their normal steering I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel for nothing right like I I'm sure I can if I put the amount of effort to it and there's a lot of people that can drift uh, simulation on controller to me I'm just too lazy to put in the effort so uh, thank you I hope I touched base on everything you wanted me to hear hey Errol, I was wondering what your favorite classic Japanese sports car is. Personally, my favorite is the Hakosuka. Oh, I'm still waiting for you in GT5. And congratulations on 4,000 subscribers. We did hit 4,000 subs, guys. Thank you very much. Um, I'm terrible with doing like sub, sub like subscriber milestones. So I'm just gonna say thanks. Uh, I think for 5,000, I may just sit here for an hour and read out all your names and thank you individually, <laughs> like I used to when I had like 15,000 or 1,500 subscribers, just to be cute. But um. This kind of sucks for you, but that's my favorite uh, classic Japanese car. Or that or the 2000 GT. <sighs> nope, that. Hakusuka, definitely. So I'm sorry I couldn't elaborate more on that, but it's your fault. <laughs> this guy has a goofy name, but... In your last Ask Arrow, you were playing Battlefield 3. Do you prefer Battlefield 3 over Call of Duty or vice versa? Thanks! Well, you're all cool, but... Uh, um, I like Call of Duty more, and I know this can get a lot of hate, but... Call of Duty is a worse game, and I'll be the first one to admit that. But Battlefield 3, for me, plays really, really, really slow. I don't have the attention span to play Rush and stuff and stuff like that, where, like, through 45 minutes, you only get, like, four kills and nine deaths. Well, if you're me and you suck balls. Um, I try playing Team Deathmatch, uh, which is, like, pretty much all the maps but condensed, and I don't know, it just doesn't... It's not as... I think I kind of like Call of Duty because it pisses me off. It's, it's exciting. I don't know. I prefer it, but I will admit that Battlefield 3 is a better game. Just not my game. The day someone makes a close quarter shooter that works. Because the Call of Duty worked. Like if fucking the connection worked like it did in COD 4. Um, you know, all these little things they try to add to the game were flawless. Basically, if they like beta tested their game and maybe everyone figured out what was wrong with it, it would be like... I'd be sold. Uh, okay, I apologize for the little thing, but... Uh, hello, Errol, love your build a drift to kill videos. Thank you, sir, but last week you talked about your personal drift cars and that you use them in Forza 4 competition. I was wondering if there's any possibility you can film them, and is the Xbox and Forza 4 worth buying possibly this summer? Thank you. Um... To be honest, dude, I'd hold on on the Xbox because they are making their next generation uh, console right now. 
if you don't have a next-gen console, like you don't have a, a PS3 or an Xbox, just wait. Um, I personally don't think that uh, an Xbox is worth buying just for Forza, because you do have Gran Turismo 5 on the other side of the, uh, of the boat, and, you know, they're both great games, so... You're not really missing out if you're not, if you have GT and not Forza, but if you don't have a, uh, a next-gen console as in a 360 or a PS3, I'm sure you can find a cheap 360 for like 100 bucks at a hawk shop, go pick it up, get Forza 4 used somewhere, um, then yes, then it'd be worth it, but like, if you already have a PlayStation, don't bother. Um, I don't film my Forza uh, Drift uh, competitions. Mostly because when I have the camera on, it makes me nervous, and I want to do well. And um, sometimes the replays are like an hour long, so I don't want to have to sift through an hour of replay um, just to show me that. And it's a little one-sided, I think, in my opinion, just to show me. You know what I mean? Like if I just to show my way going through the top 32 and the top 16 or whatever, it's not fair to everyone else. So if I were to do a video. Uh, or a series of videos on a competition, it would be everybody's battles, not just mine. Um, and that's going to be a lot of work, so that's why I haven't done it yet. But, uh, you know, who knows? It may happen in the future. Uh, I'm not going to rule it out. Yeah, I may could get some inspiration one day and be like, oh, I'm going to do this. You know? Because you guys know me. I don't make battle videos. I like to make video videos. I don't sit there and put bumper cam and like, oh, this is so cool. You know, it's too boring. Um, some people say that's over editing, and to those people, I say, suck my dick. <laughs> I'm kidding, but, um, hey, I just wanted to know if you could upload a video of you drifting on GT5. I know you say you're not that good, but I just want to see you drift on it. Arrow, thanks for answering my question. Um, I can try. Like I said, I'm not very good. I'll be the first one to say I'm not very good, because it does, it, the, the physics are different. Like, it's, on controller especially, it's a lot snappier, like it is on, like, it's like simulations during a border, like I said. Um, I can do it, but just not incredibly well, so, I don't know, I can try, if you guys want to see that, let me know, I can take a Tuesday off from Saints Row and upload one of those, and, or I can do it in the background of an Ask Arrow or something, that's not something I want to do regularly, that's for sure, because it's embarrassing when I think about it bad, mm. um, okay, I sometimes like to speak in the Onage Pranks voice, so this is all written in the Onage Pranks voice, so, I'm not being racist, it's just, how it's written. <coughs> the hello, big boy. If you could have a drifting saying on your windscreen of your car, if you had a drift car, not your Accord. My Accord's fine, leave me root. But uh, what one would it be? Uh, in plain English, it's basically me. Uh, if you guys have seen Formula Drift at all, people have like little sayings on their front windscreens. Like, I know Von Gittin has like Ready to Rock or something. Um. I probably have fuck you, big boy, because that's what uh, everyone sees me, at least my, in my group of friends. It was kind of hey, hey, it was going arrow. It's not very, very pretty good, man. I'm like, fuck you, big boy. I'm like, ha ha. But like, that's kind of my thing. Um, if not, uh, I don't know. I've actually opened this the day it was sent, and I've still been thinking about it, and I'm not sure. So that's my temporary answer. If I change my mind while I'm going through the rest of these, I'll let you know. I'm a good drifter and I want to be part of the FMDL, uh, but I only know a few people. How would you get into bigger drifting in Forza? So basically, I think you're asking like how to get into comps and stuff. The best way is through the Forza forums, my friend. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown, and I'm, if this is a little long for people, I apologize. But of how to join the Forza forums, you use your Xbox Live. Uh, basically, it's like signing into Xbox.com. Um, you go to the Drifting Lounge. Or you don't have to, but that's where all the drifting takes place. It's all competition drifting. If you're a points drifter and you go there, I'm speaking from what I've seen, you will get torn apart. That is not accepted around there at all. It's just battle drifting. That's it. Um, and if no all-wheel drive people either. Um, sometimes like they'll let somebody in, but there's no all-wheel drive teams around there. It's just rear drive um, teams in there for like FMDL and stuff. FMDL would be like a team, it's team competition. But uh, if you join the forums, uh, post around, see who's recruiting. Don't expect to be on a team like um, uh, SCS or SJD or something because those are like top tier teams in my opinion. Look for a lower tier team with people such as yourself, learn together, uh, quit that team, move on to a bigger one. It's kind of like 
because that's how I started. I was on a team that was, and I was on it. And I was wasn't very good when I was on it, but I learned a lot from that team. It was Blackout. Um, and then I we parted ways. I went on to Smoke and Flow, which at the time was like the biggest team out there, at least in battle drifting. I learned a shit ton from them. I you know got my name out there. People recognized me. They knew who I am now. And then I, uh, they fell apart, and then I went on to E&D, which is where I am now. Um, E&D, yay, yay. <laughs> But, um, mostly just go on the Forza forums, and, you know, if I have, just be respectful uh, on there. Uh, try not to start drama, because that'll get you a bad reputation right away. Um, try your best to type well, spell well. Um, just, you know, if people flame you, don't worry about it. Everyone gets flamed in there. Uh, people call me a fucking faggot in there all the time. It's just how it goes. Um, keep a level head, you know, and people should start inviting you into these competitions. And they're all pretty much, except for FMDL, which is invite only. Like Virtual Formula Drift is open. You can you can enter that as long as your car meets the requirements. I know um, AMD Drift Series, which is the one I recommend because it's a lot uh, less competitive. And I don't mean it's easier. I mean like people in it are more relaxed. Um, people aren't taking it as seriously. And I just pressed a button, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that's, I hope I touched base on everything. I touched base on everything I really wanted to say. But uh, th uh, thank you for your question, because I really wanted to uh, address that eventually. Um, what is your favorite circuit to drift on in Forza? You dick. <laughs> um, since you said Forza and not Forza 4, Sidewinder, King Cobra. My favorite, 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 favorite. Um, excuse me. They didn't include it on. Forza 4, which I found was odd. I think it's going to be DLC. I'm calling it right now. But but if it was Forza 4, either Nuremberg Ring Grand Prix, full or short, whatever, uh, Hockenheim, or Sakuba Short Reverse. And I'm just thinking, there's no reverse, but you know, just go in reverse. I like tracks that are have different types of corners. Uh, I like tracks that are bumpy and dynamic. And I like tracks where you can drift the whole way around. So that covers all those bases. Uh, hey man, my name's Blank from Australia. I'm subscribed to you. I enjoy the build a drifted thing you do. I see you obviously get a fuckload of views. I do. I don't understand how I, but I do. I also put a lot of effort into my videos, but I still struggle for views. Sad face. Can you possibly give me any tips? I believe I replied to this. But um, just stick with it, man. Keep your videos coming out regularly. Um, only, it, but in that sense, don't put out videos when you don't want to. I think that was something that uh, I really uh, grasped early on. Was that if I didn't feel like making a video, I wasn't going to. Because it was going to turn out really, really, really bad. Even if I was just like, oh man, uh, I'm kind of tired, but I'll go make this video. Anyway. That's fine. It's when you're sitting there and you're like, man, I should be making a video. But I'm not going to. Like, that's... Like, if your mind's not there, um, me, I can kind of get myself into that mindset. Especially for, like, a Builder Drift to kill it or something, because those are, like, something I like to talk about. And Ask Arrow is just me answering questions off the top of my head. So for me, those are really easy to make. Um, but just make videos when, it, when you want. Um, as soon as you start getting a subscriber base, um, around, like, a thousand... Then you start coming out with like one video a week on the same day. One, you know, give your people something to look forward to. Um, I know now I'm trying to do five videos a week. It's kind of breaking my balls, but you know, I'm, it's it's more for me, not for you guys. So don't like be like, oh, you can only do it's. I'm it's a challenge I gave myself. Um, but keep the videos coming out regularly. Uh, if you do make good stuff, uh, people will find you. Um, I don't know. I think I may. Nah, I'm not going to say that because then people are like, hey, I thought you were going to do that. But uh, I hope I helped out. And if I didn't, feel free to send in another uh, thing. So somebody just sent in, I remember reading this, but since you say in most of your videos that a car doesn't need to have a thousand horsepower to be a good drift car, here's a great way to prove it. Would you like to try and build a drift car with no engine upgrades, only suspension and transmission upgrades, and of course rims and tires? Um, I did drift a stock Toronto before. But um, I know there's a couple cars I can drift stock, which are like the, the Corvettes uh, can pretty much drift stock. Um, there's a Mercedes that can drift stock. Uh, 
I'm sure it's possible. But, like, the car would be super powerful anyway. Like, a ZR1 has, like, what, 630 horse? Um, so that's not really demonstrating that you don't need lots of power. What I, what I mean is, like, when I say that, is when people make S13s, which have about 20, which are 2,100 pounds or so, and run them at, like, 7 to 800 horsepower. There's no need for that. I have an S13 with probably about 410 horse, 420, and that's just as good. Um, because if you put any more power than that, you know, you're not putting the power down. Um, but, I don't know, I'll think about it. I don't, I can't guarantee I'll do it, but it's up in my nog, and I'll, I will ponder it. But, um, I got my last question, this one is from a teammate of mine. Um, how much harder is sim steering the regular string for those who are using controller to drift? It's fucking impossible. It's... Basically, as soon as you decide to start transitioning, the car transitions. Like, if you spent a whole day practicing it and practicing it, you could get the hang of it. It's just so, for me, it's so unpredictable. Like, you can go over the same turn four or five times, and then you'll hit a bump weird, and then and you'll hit the wall. So, I don't know. It's fun to, like, practice and free run when you're by yourself. But I would never, never, never battle with it just because it's so inconsistent and so, like, can just rise up and bite your head off at any moment um so yeah that's it it's 22 minutes later uh thank you guys for watching and um send in your questions for next week this only through youtube pms obviously i've said that before but it's a lot easier for me to take care of them that way but uh i like to thank you guys for watching the whole way through i really appreciate it thank you for being here uh i always do this damn the fucking video as well but um Thanks, bro. Peace out. <laughs> Bitch! Be sure to follow me on Twitter. It's where I'll announce open lobbies or look for people to play with, answer questions, and update you on the latest happenings of the Arrow.